hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video we're gonna do a end of the quarter sketchbook tour so this sketchbook wasn't started in the beginning of january i actually started this sketchbook in 2021 and then i didn't revisit it into much much later mostly because i started using the sketchbook just to do gouache studies i wanted to paint landscapes in gouache. I had a very small M. Graham primary set of gouache and and I only used this sketchbook to paint landscapes. And not just because I thought that because it was in a landscape format that I should use it for what it was for, but because I'm not primarily a landscape painter, I neglected the sketchbook for a very long time because it just didn't serve what I needed it to do for me. So I'm embarking on this journey to finish at least four sketchbooks a year and to me it doesn't matter if the spreads are pretty or you know greatly planned and I am posting them on Instagram. I don't really use my sketchbooks in that way. I primarily use it to plan out paintings. Um, and to practice sometimes, but mostly just to color study and to just learn my medium. So here are a couple of paintings I did. Most of them are Studio Ghibli paintings, and then some of them are just random uh, pictures that I found on the internet and decided to paint them. Here's a gouache eye study. This is the first time I was using my Himi gouache in the sketchbook. I didn't really like it. I found that it was very just full of fillers and um, very hard to like move and blend together. So I don't know, coming from someone who used more professional paints and then going to something that's more student grade is very difficult. This is a rough sketch of a painting that I actually did called Sweet Grape. Um, you can find the little, you know, week of art on my channel. I'll link it somewhere. And um, that was the original sketch for the idea. You might remember this page where I compared three different colors of gouache and I painted some skin tone studies. So one side is Holbein, the other side is M. Graham. And both sides I really love. I think they look very unique. Um, and it could just be the color selections that I picked that just didn't harmonize well together because one is obviously very cool, one side is very warm, and I think both work equally. It uh, just depends on what style you want to go for. This is a sketch idea for a October ink drawing that I made following Audra Eclair's prompt. Here's some sample dot card swatches of some handmade watercolors that I ended up, some of them I did end up purchasing. The reason why I was so attracted to these two um, watercolor makers because of the granulation, I have slowly fallen in love with granulating watercolors and and I wanted to explore more colors and just have fun so I so while exploring granulating watercolors I stumbled upon this other youtubers video where she was featuring these lovely handmade watercolors and I just had to pick some up for myself next page are just more studies um, more practice sketches figuring out ideas and just kind of planning out paintings that I want to make in the future or paintings that I've already made that you probably have seen already on this channel. Here's another gouache study of black swans. Um, it's just something that I really want to improve on because I do want to gift a painting of black swans to a friend. So I was just getting some studies in. Here I was planning out what kind of colors I wanted to use for a painting that I have and all of these are handmade watercolors. On this page, I was trying to figure out how to make the perfect like mustard yellowish color, like a burnt yellow mustard color, whatever you like to call it. I had two different formulas so I just tested them both out in the sketchbook. Here's another sketch idea for a painting that I have currently hanging on my wall. I haven't started painting it yet but it is in the queue. <laughs> Here's just some color studies. I was trying to figure out what color I wanted to make shirt so I think I decided on the blue but I'm not 
so confident anymore. Here are some color studies again. I love exploring my watercolors and getting to know my medium and just mixing them and seeing how they react to each other and also just seeing what kind of cool granulations I can get to. Now that we've talked about watercolors, I would like to take this time to go over the goals I've completed between January and March and what I hope to achieve in the next three months. Goal number one, I completed one sketchbook out of four that I hope to complete by the end of the year. Yay. Goal number two, I'm one step closer to launching my website. I've completed over 10 paintings that I love and now I'm focusing on editing them and adding them to my portfolio. In the next three months, I want to take some time and go all in and learning anatomy for my art. I want to be able to draw and paint figures and I feel like not being able to do it right now is holding my art back. In addition to practicing figures in the next three months, I would also like to practice my watercolor techniques. The way that I would like to practice my watercolor techniques is in the form of a series called Back to Watercolors. The first episode should be up real soon in April. I'm really excited for that. And I'm really excited to see how my art evolves at the end of the quarter. Right now, you're seeing some swatches from my current main watercolor palette. I primarily made this watercolor palette to explore granulating blues because I feel like that is, you know, a very important part of my art practice. But also, I wanted some non granulating blues as well so I can mix it into my skin tone, which is the other side of the palette. These two pages are pages of fun colors that I really like. I like gravitating towards earth colors and then here's just some greens and oranges and reds because I really gravitate to those colors as well. Part of getting back into watercolors is understanding the colors that I have, why I'm interested in them, and what kind of color combinations and mixes I can get when I mix them with blues. and greens and yellows and reds and all the other colors that I have in my color palette. I want to be able to mix them with each other and see what kind of fun granulation that I get, what kind of muted greens do I get, what kind of blues do I get, and just making notes and understanding how each color works with one another. You've probably noticed already, but I like to use my sketchbook as like scrap piece of paper to quickly do swatches of paint, test out colors, things like that when I'm working on a final painting. So this spread was the original concept idea for the three paintings that I spent most of March working on for a art submission that I ended up not submitting to. Um, but you know, I, I talk about that more in March art blog if you'd like to check it out. While I was thinking about these paintings, I'm constantly thinking about the color palette and what colors will look nice together. So I often just swatch out colors as I'm painting, trying to figure out if it fits what I'm currently laying down on the paper. And I know that most artists use thumbnails for this exact reason, but I find that I am more intuitive when I'm painting. And sometimes even though I plan something out, I completely change everything when I do the final sketch, which is a good thing and a bad thing. I think it's also just the way that I feel comfortable doing things because I'm not at the skill level where I can always articulate what I'm thinking in my head onto paper. This is the last painting in the sketchbook, and of course, it's a chicken. I really love chickens. I have a lot of random chicken art, and I don't know why. It's starting to become a collection, and I'm loving it. I want chickens so bad one day on a farm, just so I can share funny chicken things with my friends. And I was thinking that maybe one day I could make this into a stinker, but I'm getting a little too ahead of myself. I'm currently working in three different sketchbooks, but as the months come to a close, I'll pick one to finish up for the next sketchbook tour. Wish me luck, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye, take care.